So uh, here's something a bit different. We're down in uh, Taranaki visiting my brother Josh and he's working on the farm which has the twin rotaries. So it's New Zealand's fastest cow shed I believe. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Currently, yeah. yeah. So are we standing here in the, this is the old rotary? Is this the existing? Yeah so this is the ex existing original rotary. So how many bales on this? 40. 40 bale. So is the, the new one on the other side 40 yeah. bales as well? Yeah. Yeah. And you said that it's all uh, automated, yep. so you just push a button and, and go and it washes itself. Yep. Is that a filter housing there? Yep. So that there yeah, that's, that's is the milk filter. The What's that? There's a shed there. So you've got the old shed over there and the new shed here. Oh I see, so all the milk runs over yep. to this central point. Mm, two two vac taps. And so is there two vacuum pumps? Yep. So there's one, because I heard one running. So one over there and one, one running over one there and the then ground. one out here. So now we're getting to the what newer part of the cache? That's the new wash up there. Oh, this is the new yeah. okay, for the new shed. Yeah, for the new shed. Oh yeah. So we've got a um, a viewing room in here, and then this here is uh, this is cups on. Yeah. So. Let's turn on the cup. So this this platform here is used for. AB. AB. So this one here. Uh, we can go. That's flat on the floor. Yep. And then we can go. So this is for mating time, so you have the platform right up yep. to suit whoever's uh, doing A B, so you can, can you go above the platform or below it? There's the airbag there. See? Oh yeah. And you're fixing something? Yep. So um, Shane was saying that this is part of also um, like a, what is it, fatigue? So like it's not so hard on your, so you're not having to stand on concrete, you're standing on this, essentially. Basically, I wouldn't be knocking down, you know, because I'm a bit, my knees are stuck. Yeah, you walk on this and it's sort of so, the same yeah, so it, it's not like you're standing on concrete, it's moving up and down, so it it's, like uh, boat. Yeah, it's a lot easier on your knees. First three days I was actually getting quite getting a bit sick on it. Yep. Standing here for the cow is in. Moving back and forth. So this is on cups on here, so the cows are walking in through uh, this, this entry here on both sides. So you've got one collection yard, you've got one round yard there with two backing gates. And you were saying that both, you got two herds, yep, and, they and they both come in together, they get mixed up, and then we'll show you soon, but up the top there, there's uh, drafting gates for um, when the cows come out. Up, yeah. This is pretty cool. What, what are these called, turn gates? Turn gates. Turn gates, so don't get cows going, going through there. Yeah. So, yeah, cows go on, on here, and then they do a lap and they come off on that side. Yep. All automated. All automated teat sprayers. All automated teat sprayers. Yeah. Very nice shed. I'm sure it would be very nice to milk in. Um, about a year ago we set up a whole new yard for the whole new loading race. Oh yeah, so, so... we don't have to get cows to the other side of the shed to... With a whole lot of slide gates, is it? Up, yep. They go up and down? Yep. Bit race for calves, anything. Oh yeah. Yeah, with that plastic on the side, they're not going to shoot out the side, are they? No. Head bar around the corner. Yep. And obviously all the homemade walls and stuff like that. Yep. So this here is the... Yeah. Backing so you got backing gates with dung busters on both of them, two backing gates. Looks really good. <laughs> I'd love a dung buster. So yeah, this whole side of the yard opens up. Okay, so you can, you wouldn't, you don't bring cows through here very often though, do you? Uh, we can bring the first shed in this way if we want to. But otherwise they normally go. So pretty much on this, with this all set up so you can do many different things. Yep. As in like cows can go that way, they can go this way. Yep. They can go. Once we 
get under 250 cows, we, go, we only run one shed. Okay. Just because it's actually faster. So, I don't know if I said it earlier, but you're milking 300 cows, spring calving? Well, 600 all up. But we're milking about 450 at the moment. But but yeah yeah. yeah. But it's so, just spring so just spring carving there. Yeah, all spring carving. Yeah. Sorry. And yeah. Follow the. You can see it. No, but yeah, follow the race around so you can see sort of. Oh, I see. So yeah. the cows are cows are coming out of the shed and coming up here. People. Coming up on top, and then they head into a drafting race. Yep. Cow can push. Yep. And it sort of blocks the other cow from coming on. Yep. And then I'll see. Either way, so you've got yep. there's no. So, so you've got, cows you've got the, the cows coming from the other rotary from that direction, and then obviously they're coming from this, so they, they come up here and then they, they go through the drafting race. So we'll see if Josh gets drafted. <laughs> No air tag. <laughs> so how many ways do we get drafted here? Um, we can go three, basically we've got four. So the skate here can spin it around to there and now go that way instead of that. Okay, so. Other than that you've got the two, three. So you've got left and right then straight ahead. I see, at, so... At the top you've got an optional, so straight ahead they go So they're getting drafted out of here, yeah. and they're going down into... What's yeah. that? That's so down to the... Prolick yard down there. Prolick down there. So do all 600 cows, every both herds go through there? No. No. So the first herd go on there before milking, um, then the second herd will go on, go on there after. So basically. that's why there was cows standing there yeah. when we come over the... First herd generally goes, will go right. Yeah. So you were saying they're talking about setting up another Prolick? Yeah, out, out, that out, way. That, out that way somewhere, in the future. Yeah, yeah. so that you yeah. can have both herds having prolic all the time. Yep. If, uh, in the morning, preferably, or whenever. Whenever they need it. Yeah. Morning and so night. they got... Extra Extra so the... Entry exit. The prolic's an option for them, you said as well, isn't it? So they can either go there or they can go straight to their paddock if they don't want to have yep. it. Yeah, they don't, and some cows don't like it. Some cows will stand there for hours on end eating it. Yep. So what's this race for that we're on? Because you got... So that's the exit. The cows, the cows coming down, down into the prolic. Yeah. And then this way is... So they'll be the second herd, they don't get drafted, they'll just walk straight out into the prolic. Okay. So we can set up a left draft on this side. I'll show you in a minute down there. So, but they're all over. Oh, I see. Anything with a sore foot, air tags, whatever you want to... Okay. Anything odd. We can draft left. What's what's the idea with these gates? Uh, put, um, stop the cows coming back up. Oh, okay. They can only yep. go one way. They I see. So if you push so it, yeah. you can't go that they way, can, but you can. But it stops. Just stops and having that. Come on. I'm not going to piggyback you. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying, talking about the left draft, you can swing that gate across to here, can you? Um, so yeah, before I'm open, the cows can walk straight. We'll just go down here. So is this the normal way for cows coming into the... Oh, yep. I suppose you've got three different directions. So they can come from... So now this is the, the underpass. Into, that's an entrance into the shed here. Yep. And the cows can walk around the corner here. So these gates here go into the, the round yard with the backing gate. And then, so they can come in this way into here. Yep, straight in or this first herd can go straight to the... Or they can be coming yeah, from that direction in. There's through nothing here. stopping the cows. In, um, so most sheds have got the problem of cows leaving and have to hold them. Yeah. So we'll just step, step back and shut So up there, that's where the cows are leaving. Yeah. So what they've tried to do with this cow shed is they've tried to give lots of options. Eh? So you can have cows coming in with cows leaving. Yeah. And it, nothing's getting so held we can, up. We can run three herds at once if we want to. Three herds at once. Yeah. With one... One kit is in basically just one yard. No holding them, would, no, yeah. no holding would, cows back. They, they're here, some cows are only here for 15, 20 minutes and they're gone. Yep. If they're lucky. So. I would love a pro-track system as well. <laughs> so we're, as in, we're in the process of getting halter put on all the cows. Yeah. So hopefully before so calving, uh, all 600 cows will have halter, no electric no fences. More fences. 
Yeah. Well, no electric fences, you'll no still getting, have paddocks, but... No getting cows in or anything like that? Yep. Oh, big tractor's going. Yep. Sounds like a big tractor. <laughs> so you're going to show this gate, were you? Yeah, I was going to show you. So, So that's where you've picked up all those old backing gates, that's where they've been used. Old, old backing gates. Oh, so you, got, you can go either over to there. Yep, so the second herd egg sitting out here after the milk. Yeah. And we've got a lame cow, one lame cow, there you go. She's standing here. And she'll be drafted out up the top there. Yep. So this gives you... Yeah, this gives you uh, a yeah. four-way drive. Uh, basically, three-way. Is it only three-way at the moment? Uh, you can go four-way, but you can just change the gate up the top. Oh, okay. You have to manually change it though. But yeah. Yeah. You have got the option there. Yeah. They don't have to come down here. They can go straight in, straight out the paddock. That's pretty cool. Uh, one thing, um, this farm is sort of they're very innovative, aren't they? Like uh, as in new things. <coughs> Yep. So, so, for some reason, in, like with colostrums, we don't want to go up top. Oh, yeah. So, this is coming out of. Yep. So, colostrum so, cows only go, ever go over the automatic sheet with all the pro track and everything. Okay. So, we can do them and then they don't even have to go up top. Straight out here. So there's op options. Options. That's basically the option. Yeah. So here is another, um, just another yard set up, really, eh? Vet race. Um, we've got a cow crush in there. Yep. So you can work on them inside. Yep. Inside. Yep. Because it does get very cold down here. I'm noticing <laughs> the cold. Uh, another thing that um, they do have a few of, and um, I did see one up the top, but it's this. You can talk about it. Yeah, but I can talk about it then. Let me just start, right? Oh, yeah. So, save. Save dragging a hose around the, all the concrete we've got. Yeah. I'm not going to stand behind this. <laughs> Literally stand behind. Yeah, I, got, <laughs> I was just going to thought it. <laughs> Are you trying to squirt them over there? <laughs> That's one way of uh, washing your yard. Jeez. Oh yeah, you can screw it up on top. Jeez. Yeah. So you've got these cannons. These cannons up on the top, too, eh? Yeah. So the same cannons are up on top of the... Um, what's that? Three cannons for washing all of that down. What do you... And so the dung bus is the only thing that washes the round yard? Yep. Two dung busters going around there. Every gate's got a dung buster on it and... So, if what time... Say what time would you get cups on milking 600 cows? 3.30. 3.30. And what time were you... What time are you home? Like what time would you finish washing up? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. So it's in the afternoon, you mean? So the, it, yeah. At the moment, three. Was it? We're milking current tonight. They'll have about three thirty cows go through the shed. It'll take them forty-five minutes to do milking and wash up. <laughs> Everything done. So with halter, it'll save us the time of getting cows in. No one's going to have to sit in behind cows. Yeah. Stuff like that. So. So this is. Prolic. Prolic. Yeah. So, so it's just a big tank. This is a big tank, yeah, and the river. cows can Yeah, under. So is that just to stop the water going in? Basically, stop the rain. A little bit of rain comes inside, but yeah. But it's uh, the cows can just stand here and and drink. So about I think the time is at the moment is set for about eight. No, sorry, three o'clock in the morning. And if this is full, it should tip down. So that's uh, flood so, wash. Yep, flood wash basically for the yard. And that's if you 
swim around there, you'll see all right around the top right of this roof has got washes right around it. So if we need to get out of here because the rain's going to pop. The rain, oh, is it filled from the rain? It's filled from the rain. It's filled from the rain. Yep. Yeah. So the roof is, you're going to set your, if you step, step back in here, you see that you can see up on the roof there, the water's just running naturally in there right now. Yeah, so is that all that fills them or have you got? Have no, you, so there's a timer set in here. Just water. But if it's, but if it's raining, you won't put them on to fill it. It'll no, fill so it. Does it. It'll yeah, fill it up. Night, it'll do its thing about what? So, in the morning, so pretty much if it's if it's raining or if, it, if the pipes, the water's on a timer, it just does its own thing. Yeah. Washes the yard yep. itself. Even if it's raining, in the middle of milking, it'll start tipping up. They'll start tipping themselves. Yeah, we were down here yesterday yep. afternoon when they were milking and there were cows standing along the edge and the water <laughs> tipped on them. Yeah. This is the crush from the city yards that are just on the outside, just inside, so. Is where you do uh, lame, cows, lame cows, carving cows, anything. Tagging. Carving cows, tagging. We can tag the heifers on the range during the winter if we want to. We don't have to wait for fine days. And yeah, yeah. obviously you got pour on and stuff yep, hanging over there. Are. So and like an, another invention. Gibson never runs up this problem. All the tag numbers, we're all sitting up. Oh, so this is ones that he can use. Yep. So if you've got a cow sitting there with no tag. Oh, I see. There you go. All sorted. Ready yep. to go. Does it keep it stocked or? or no, do you... don't, as in just if you find a tag around the front, as in oh, cow rips the tag out, you yep. can replace it back in there. But yep. then, yeah. If you don't have a tag. Mm, look at this. Yeah. All Tags set, all and set the out. pins. Tags, sort of anything. Anything. Yep. That's really just about keeping it simple, eh? Simple. So if you've got a cow stand, there's no point in Kiss, keep it stupid simple. Running into the couch you're trying to find an air tag, you can just take a one or two minutes and the cow's gone. Yep. So the yeah, the crush here, there's uh this here, obviously yep. spring so loads around into there so you can the cows can go yep. through this they go through this vet race here and then come through and into the, yep. into the crush there. About a year ago we Oh yeah. Does that make it very easy to operate? It's simple. It's <laughs> a lever and you push pushing against it and they're gone. Yep. So you preset it. Oh, another thing is like the grating. Yeah, you've got the grating around the yep. edge of the platform here. So I've noticed before, so this old shed, they've installed it. If you go further around there, you'll... Oh, it's got nothing. You've got no grating? Yeah. And we know it's when the cow's crap, you just flat, straight up wall. Yeah. This side. So it's really just, you're just trying to contain the mess. Yep, so if the cow crap's off the... I'm surprised it's not like the European ones that have the... The catch, um, like nah. they've got catch trays there. So we're actually, so you're supposed to have two bars here, kick bar. Yeah. And we decided to go for just the one. So lots Is that blood. so the tails don't hit you? <laughs> just simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. a very tidy, clean cow shed. Yep. Uh, it does have most road trees will have it, but they got there's a I've seen yep. a sprinkler. There's a jet somewhere around here as the road trees going around. It's wetting the walls, the floor, keeping it nice and wet so it doesn't stick onto it. Um, and obviously the new the new platform on here, the stainless. Yeah. Yep. So stainless stainless obviously platform. You're gonna get your build up around the edges and stuff like that. But yeah. You look through the cups. Yeah. <laughs> With a big flat surface, like right up there. Yeah, it's all pretty yeah, clean. With them, with them clean. So is this one a 40 as well? So you've got yep. two, two 40s. Yep. So this cat, it's just all automated, eh? So, yep, all automated. So it's for the pro track, for let's drafting. Let's so the screen. Oh, it's already set. So see, they've, yeah, they've had a cow come on with mastitis. Mastitis this morning. Yep. Yeah. So she just gets drafted off up there? Yep. And that's uh, pretty good. Oh yeah, that's... <laughs> so, yeah. so we can say this shed, so this shed, oh, the old shed's done, what, 217 this morning? Yeah. 19 repeats. 
Oh, yeah, so that's all on there. Yeah, this is 103 that have drafted lift. Yep, so how many cows you milk at the moment? This is a 438. Oh, yeah, so. This morning. Yeah, this morning. So nearly half of them have, yeah, so that, pretty that, much that, half of them have gone show, through here. That shows you how even we can go. They're not all going yeah. one side or. Yep. So you are going to get cows that favour a shed, yep. they'll all go through the same shed. Each shed has their moments and yeah. So it cut it. Most. Most sheds you would have to, well just like the hearing bones, you can't milk colostrums and milkers at the same time. Yeah. But here we can run this shed. We can, well, there's quite often we start the, early on in calving we can start the colostrums before we start the milkers. Because we've got the two separate sheds. Yeah, yeah. Yep. This, we'll so you mean the, all the colostrum milk's yep. going through this plant? Yep. And, we can and the all milkers. the milkers are going on that side? Yep. So we can start with... So is that where you put the gate in the middle? Yep, the gate can go down the middle. The back here, so what Josh is saying is the... You run the colostrums through this one. Yeah. And they just bring... Because there's two backing gates there, so the backing gate will go on the... coming now. Yeah. So one of them will be around here and you keep the... You keep the colostrums on one side and they'll go yep. through that shed. Yeah. Because you've got two underpasses over there so the you can have the costumes come on one side and the milkers come on the other so stop one side like that yeah um and in if you're thinking we've got um, so we've got a safety setting here where i can press both back and gates and they both go yeah but there's a safety setting i'm not there's no one's that you you got the camera on the control so what's it going to do? So why did they stop? 10 second pulse. Oh, so, that's so, so, so you don't when leave I'm it on? When I'm milking, I can just go like this. Yeah. And carry on. And, I'm, and you can walk off and know you're not, your cows aren't going to Yeah, because everyone's turned their back and gate on, forgot it's on, and you <laughs> find their cows squashed up yeah. at the back. Yeah. So in another 10 seconds, the camera's on the controllers, no one's touching it. Yeah. And it'll stop it. And they shut off. Yeah. Yep. And we've got, I can, and we can just turn them on and off here for you. So you got options with it. Um, Yard wash on and off. So we've got the... I see that on the top there. So you watch this going off. So it's washing the... Washing the exit ramp and washing the the backing gate. They thought of everything. We actually put a we put an alarm in the cow shed. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously for the first turn we just make the both backing gates meet down the back. Yep. And the cows can enter both sides. Yeah. yeah. We put an alarm in our mm. in the cow shed because uh, you with the at our last job with having the um, yeah. dung buster when the backing gates on the pumps on you would know. Yeah. But then as soon as you got mum and dad's, was, everything was quiet and you back, don't even know your back and gate's going, so. Um, so yeah, so the screen here, you got to obviously, every, everyone with ProTrack will have this, but yeah. So yeah. cows, most of our cows are still milking now, are basically our fat early cows or basically like September calvers. So you, so. So we're drying you, off in a. You're drying off, yeah, early Condition score, calves early and, calving, sort of. Yeah. In a process, there is a. Yep. So you've got all the options down here. All the options of I can change a cow to go to a different herd. Yep. So I could, she's already in the first herd, I'm not going to touch any of that because it's. A, yep. But yeah, I can view a cow within seconds. Everything to do with her whole history. Yep. Um, yeah, when she's going to carve. Oh, there, somewhere. 
No, that's a gen so that's just a general overview. Yeah. Right, so that'll probably be it for this video. Thanks to Josh, my brother, for uh, showing us around. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm. See ya.